Okay, welcome! Today we're going to be going over how to plan using your iPad and the Procreate app. I've been doing this for quite some time. Here is what my schedule looks like right now for June. I have nothing planned, but you know, that's because it is the coronavirus times and um, I literally don't know what I'm going to do next month. So my calendar looks pretty empty. Um, just to go over with you, what I have here is my week starts on Mondays because that's what makes sense to me. So if it makes sense for you to start your week on a Sunday, you're going to write yourself that. I chose like a blue scheme for June. And then what I also have here is a sort of like a post-it note that I would created and another layer. Um, I use this note to write stuff down like I usually write the client's name and let's say how much I made on that piece and I'll just I'll just write it down all month and at the end of the month I'll have some sort of uh, note here on how much I made for example that month if you want to learn how to make a calendar like this and see the cool tips and tricks and things that I do in procreate to help me plan my life uh, stay tuned and keep on watching. We're gonna make one just like this from scratch. All right, so first things first, what you're going to do is you're gonna go to Google and type in grid month and then just grab a nice grid that is a good quality and save that to your photos. Then, when you go to Procreate, go ahead and open a 8.5 by 11 file, okay? And then you're going to insert the empty calendar that you had, and as you can see, it's quite small, so I'm going to first enlarge it to the entirety of the page, just so that we can um, actually fit it on our page. And then I'm actually going to make some choices here, so <clears throat> when you press the selection tool to move things around, down here you have some options, so for freeform it'll let you stretch um, any way you want to. So I'm going to stretch this all the way up and get rid of this top row, I don't want that. So I'm just going to to the top, and then uh, I also one, two, three, four, five. I only want five rows, so I'm going to get rid of the sixth row right here, boom, like that. And then I'm just gonna kind of go side to side, make sure that I have the maximum of my boxes. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now it's a little too big for the page, so I'm gonna just shrink it like that and just set it in the middle. Perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in and on a new layer, Add a new layer. I'm gonna choose. This is the pens I use to write. I use for writing. So I have them streamlined version and not streamlined. I did this myself by going to um, right here. When you slide, you could duplicate the pen, and then you can rename it. So basically, I just duplicated it. I have a one streamlined and one not streamlined version because I do this a lot. So I like to write with streamlined with a regular, and then I draw and stuff like that with my streamlined. So instead of just going in and constantly, you know, editing the, the streamline, I just like to keep like a really low um, streamline for, you know, just a regular pen so that I can write really freely. So that's what I do. And so here we're going to write, let's make that just a little thicker. Going to write Monday, Tuesday. Now the reason I like doing this like that is because I like handwritten stuff. Like that's why this calendar is the way it is, because I like to handwrite it. So I mean you can also use the text tool and add text and you know type it in there and put it in there, insert it. Um, I just like the handwritten feel quite a lot, so Saturday and Sunday. Nice, and on the same layer that I have the um, the names of the weeks, I also do the uh, the month numbers. So I go to my calendar on my phone, 
and this is January 2021 that we're making. So let's see. It looks like one, two, three, four, five. All right, so then once you have every, all those things laid out, so now we have literally the whole month of January laid out. Just open a new layer, get the selection tool, choose a rectangle, and neatly select this rectangle, and just go ahead and drop the color into that, and then boom, just like that. We're gonna write jam. 21. It's like a work in progress kind of jam. Jam 21. Boom. <clears throat> All right. Yay! That's the beginning of your calendar. Now, let me show you how I do some other things. So, as the week goes, I usually have something like a rectangle like that. So let's just duplicate that. I usually have something uh, like this going to cover the days as they go by. And I use the freeform tool to make that shorter and longer. And then I also use the opacity, click this N here, and you can lower the opacity on that rectangle. Let's just make it a different color so that um, it's easier for you to see what I'm doing. Okay, so now you see I have this rectangle here and as the first goes by I can cover it the second goes by I can cover it the third goes by I can cover it and then what I usually do is duplicate that and just move it uh, move it over for myself for the next week and I usually make it really short in, at first and then as the week goes by I select that layer and I freeform it this way etc then when it gets to the first two weeks of January have passed by I usually, you know, duplicate that layer again, put it down here to start doing the next thing. And then I take these two and I just combine them together and they just kind of hang out. They're just there covering, you know, what already happened. I make myself a post-it. So I start a new layer and let's say we make like a rectangular post-it like this and we'll fill it with, let's do like a nice purple lilac, boom. So that's a cute little post-it. And then basically if you want, this is just for your aesthetic purposes. If you want a little drop shadow, you're gonna open a new layer, put it underneath the post-it. And with your soft brush, use black. And make this maybe lower the opacity a little bit and you can put a little drop shadow underneath the post-it For that to look neater if you're not happy with it undo do another one If you think that's too dark, then you know, you can lighten the opacity But I think it just adds like a little depth and then I connect these two layers So now the post-it always comes with a drop shadow Cute and I like to put it away um, a lot of the time I don't want to see it on my calendar um, and I'll make myself like a couple of these post-its sometimes you know like if, if I know that I'm doing like an extra project that month or something I'll make you know an, one another color and then often what I'll do is I'll select these two and group them and you can always name this group post-its or whatever you like because honestly you can just get creative and when you have things group you can unsee them together so that's kind of a cool uh, way to do things and then obviously you can have the two post-its you know however you want you can see one uh, but not the other and etc so that's your post-its there so this field I used to use this field for writing down my bills, but I've gotten really good at using some apps for that instead. So what I used to do is I actually made, <laughs> this is cute. I made this little circle pen. There's tutorials on how to make your own brushes. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and look it up. If you want me to do a tutorial about that, let me know. Um, I'll open a new layer to make this. And essentially, I make the little circle. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, you could be a lot neater if you want. Okay, let's just say that works for me. Very sensitive on touch, so. Um, and then I would use a pen to write like phone. 
Um, what are the other bills I pay? Optimum. That's the Wi-Fi. Car payment. Geico. And rent. So let's just say those are your categories or whatever. And so as you go through your month, you know, what I would do is just make sure that I'm selected on that layer. And then I would I would fill it in with a color. Just so that's not a really good telling color. Let's do it like a red. And I would say I paid that, I paid that, and I paid that. So then I could always see like, oh, I still need to pay my car payment and my rent this month. So that's a cute little thing that you can utilize this room for. I mean, you really want to think of this as a piece of paper and of this as your tool and of all the different pens and layers is like all the different possibilities uh, of things that you can create. So it's really just up to you what you do with your calendar. Let me now show you how I plan appointments. Okay. Uh, so in the past, when I was really busy tattooing before the coronavirus, what I actually would do is try to create my dream schedule. So how I do that is I would open a new layer and with my pen, let me use a, we'll do like a different kind of green. Okay, perfect. So we'll say that I wanna do, I wanted to tattoo on Monday through Friday and I want like three appointments a day at least. So I would make these ovals and yes, you when you pull an oval or a circle, you can press and hold and it'll complete the oval for you, which is really nice. And if you're really particular, you could make one oval like that and duplicate it so that it's even more beautiful. Like if you have an aesthetic issue, whoops, I mean, it could be so much fun. Combining layers, boom, easy as pie. One, two, three. All right, so now we have this gorgeous little possibility of three appointments on that day. And then honestly, this is a little tedious, but I duplicate it and I combine them and I duplicate that. Go down, wow, I'm gonna have such a busy month, January, 2021. I'm already anticipating it. All right, and then let's say that on, you know, I know for a fact that on one of these days I can't work. Uh, let's say I know that I have a dentist appointment that day, so I don't want to um, tattoo that day. So there you go. And then let's say that I know that there, I have some clients that only want me to work on Saturdays. So they can only do Saturdays, right? So I'm gonna choose like two Saturdays a month to work on a Saturday. So that'll be like a possibility to tattoo them that day. So let's just say these are all the possibilities. So what I usually do is I have these on a very low opacity in my, in my calendar as just like a base. And I'll usually lower this all the way down like, like here so that it's underneath everything. And as the month goes on, you know, as people make an appointment with me, I take my selection tool on automatic. Oops. And I go to this layer. Let's say they want to do like 2 p.m. on Thursday the 7th. I click like the middle space here because my first would be like at 11 a.m. And then I go to a new layer. Appointments will all burn, sort of. I'll fill that in, unselect. I'll zoom all the way in. And that's another thing I really love about this. Like you can really zoom, like look, I mean, I can write like as little as I want. I can write as much as I want. Um, and it'll be here, like no matter, like, you know, it's not a piece of paper. I can really have it big if I want. So I like that. Um, so let's say client, 2 p.m. And I'll usually write like uh, if they paid a deposit, I'll write that they paid it. Terrible coloring I chose. All right, let's say they paid a $60 deposit. I'll do that in a different color to know for me that I know they paid. And I'll write something like, um, you know, what it is. So we'll say traditional rose. That way I know, oh, okay, that's, that's who it was. You know, it was that person who wants the rose. And then just like that, my month gets filled up 
with different things. Let's say I'm going to see a play on the 10th and I know that so I'm gonna actually go ahead and put a little rectangle and then once this happens once I start filling out my calendar I usually do that all in one major layer so I usually have this layer right above all the base of the calendar and under like the covers so like these guys that I hid these are the covers so I usually have that layer I'm writing on underneath that so that when um, later on I'm covering the stuff you can see how it gets covered it has the like, opacity over it that way like, my eyes kind of know okay that happened that's in the past you know so I'm working on this like main major layer and if you want you can rename it like main or something if that helps you but you'll just see it because it'll just be like this layer full of writing um, Mrs. Doubtfire on Broadway. I was supposed to see that right before the um, pandemic, so I didn't get to. So hopefully in January I can get to see it. So that's just kind of like my creation for that month. So there you go. You can even go and do little things like this. You just, you know, you're so excited about it and you're visually aesthetic and you like your calendar to look a specific way, boom. I mean, you can literally like have so much fun with this. And uh, pretty much there you have it. I'm gonna scratch all this stuff that I made. Uh, and there you go. Just gonna leave January 21 by itself like that. And in fact, I'm just gonna put it over here in 2020 for now, cause it's just, silly to be making all these months for now so the 2021 can just stay right there behind december and there you go if you have any questions about what I, you just saw please don't hesitate to write them down below and if you'd like to see more videos about procreate let me know that as well and that's it thank you for watching and plan away make beautiful things happen make everything you want come to life and just have everything in your backpack right on your iPad. See you next time in another video.